Now, some of you know that I used to run a small business where I would prepare meals for people who wanted to eat healthy but didn't have time to cook. And I have rotated through about 50 recipes or so, but there was definitely a handful of popular ones, like the Italian meatballs, the chicken parmesan, the Greek sliders, the jerk chicken, and of course, the shepherd's pie. That one was crazy. But the one meal that I didn't expect to be so popular was the yellowfin tuna salad. Today, I'm going to show you how to make it. So you'll start off by selecting your tuna. I'm using a yellowfin tuna that I bought from Trader Joe's. These run about $2.30 a piece, uh, but you could choose whatever tuna you would like. Now these particular cans are packed in olive oil, so just drain off a little bit of that excess and then dump it into a bowl. And then just repeat that process with the rest of the cans. Open, drain, and dump. Now when tuna is packed whole, you get these big flaky chunks, which I think just add to the texture and overall enjoyability of tuna. Now season your tuna with a pinch of sea salt and some black pepper. Now I just finished making some fresh mayo for this. It's so much better than store-bought and it's so easy to make. Really, there's no excuse. It takes less than a minute. Don't believe me? Check out my video in the description below, which shows you how to make it in less than 10 seconds. But either way, you choose the mayo and add about three tablespoons. Obviously you can add more, but this is really all it needs. Now finely dice about a quarter cup of red onion and add that in. Next, finally dice a green bell pepper, also about a quarter cup, and dump that in. Next, you're going to peel a carrot and grate it until you get about a quarter's cup worth, and then add that in. And the last thing to chop up is a small handful of green onion. Finally, add a little bit more black pepper, and then about a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. Now get everything mixed together well. And before we add the rest of our ingredients and get it plated up, make sure you taste it just to see if it needs any additional seasoning. Mine did need another pinch of sea salt. Now I'm gonna transfer mine to a large plate here. And then our last ingredient is going to be the zest of one lemon. This really gives the tuna salad that pop of brightness and acidity, which really adds to the dish, trust me. Now it's time to plate and serve. Now you can add whatever dipper items you would like here. I'm using some cucumbers, I'm throwing some grapes on there, some sliced apple, and a couple different varieties of crackers. Now, of course, we still have to let the kids try this. But I'm telling you guys, this is an easy tuna salad to throw together in no time at all, and it is delicious. We are the Tiny Taste Sisters, and if we like it, then you'll like it. Yep. Hmm. I wonder which one should we pick. I'm going to pick an apple. Ooh, tuna. Oh. Tuna salad is the best. I think they should make it at home. Uh huh. Then make sure to subscribe. Yeah, so you can watch more videos. See you next time, guys. Bye. Ciao.